on the stage, one must act with gumption. Sorry, I'm late. It took some convincing for the master and miss. Anyway, I guess I should be thanking you. You sure sound a whole lot nicer than when we. Uh, it's called being a professional. <laughs> Look, Dia's blushing. Uh, listen, I don't expect to be working for Miss Dunyarzad very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note if possible. Let's cut the chit chat and head into the citadel. We'll see if the person I know has a way. F Chief. Ha, Dia! What are you doing here? <laughs> I take it you all know. Mm -hmm. We met this morning. No kidding. Huh. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two. Ruksha's gone over to the academia. The Grand Sage recently. <clears throat> Since you've already mentioned the theft, I suppose I might as well tell him what we know. Appreciate it. Uh, theft? Just recently, the Academia lost something, and there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. This case might just somehow help you in meeting her. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. But if you ask me, the case is more about the Academia than anything else. Let me fill you in. The Academia recently sent a convoy to pick up an important package from... The Grand Sage took the whole matter very seriously. Not only did he dispatch the Matra, but also enlisted our help in the search for leads. You two have heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? It's the, the Academia's grip isn't long enough to reach all the way to Port Ormos, so the city's a little more laid back. Apparently what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha. If you're interested, maybe you can head to Port Ormos and ask around yourselves. If you want my advice, Try introducing yourselves as students of the Academia once you're there. Are you serious, Chief? All the Academia students are in Sumeru City, you know. Why should they pretend to be students in Port Ormos? <laughs> if you're also interested, just go. Count me out. I've got plenty of work to do. And take it from me. If you two really do decide to visit Port Ormos, you'd best watch your backs. Let's just say that the Eremites there aren't nearly as friendly as those here in Sumeru City. There are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans like Retake Sumeru for the Scarlet King. You bet they are. <sighs> the Scarlet King's been dead for thousands of years. Now they start spreading rumors of his return. Not everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandon their homes in the wilderness st <sighs> Well, Traveler, that's about- Thanks, Dia! And you too! Since we've got- we could for the moment. Miss Dunyarzad is looking forward to seeing you both at the Subzerus Festival, so be sure to get yourselves back here in time. Good, then we'll see you both at the Subzerus Festival. <laughs> it's been a while since I remember to just be sure to. <laughs> the core of 30 is. I've told you all I. He will pay the price one day.
Come and have a good look yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality. Mix. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Aramite mercen- Wow! Talk about hurly burly! This place is busy! Ooh. We know that what if- Hmm... I might doesn't get it. Won't we look even more suspicious? Well, give it a- Welcome. Welcome! Uh, uh, hi there! We... <laughs> of course! Especially around this time of year. Students from Sumeru City that are about... Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia. Sure, we may not be Sumeru C Ah, you see over there? Those are students from the academia. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. Hmm, those students... It's no good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramai factions in Port Ormos. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the scar- They're called Ein El Achmar. Wait, come again? Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of- They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. I've heard that Ein El Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, they'll give you info on anything. Wait, wait, did you say half a million? If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? Well, I guess that makes sense. Then the only thing left for us now is to find a way in. My Whoa! Did you hear that? A niche field of research and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to- So, what's your plan? Wait! Didn't you hear what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million mora! Have you lost your mind? Oh, all right. about let's find a seat somewhere and see if we can spot the group they mentioned oh, so then what happened next? oh you've arrived please take a seat so they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss <laughs> they're nothing to be afraid of our main rival now is the Caracal Battalion. How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick... Yeah, with boss's fervent devotion. Huh. All these guys talk... <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when the Scarlet King exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. Yeah. Paimon was wondering what they meant, too. We should ask about that if we... Huh? Who are you? What do you want? A student? Huh. <laughs> What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? Huh? Oh! <laughs> Sorry! He must have grabbed the wrong amount! 
Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, Paimon can't stand to see so much more ago. But there's no other choice. <laughs> Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, that's right! We heard you mention the Scarlet King just now. <sighs> Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra in. As you can see, members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of the Scarlet King. Years ago, the Scarlet King founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. It was an advanced civilization, far beyond anything you'll see in present-day Sumeru. The Scarlet King was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. So, you mean the traitor was... Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed the Scarlet King's civilization, and our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions, and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. <sighs> but the story doesn't end there, oh no. The Scarlet King isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. Mark my words, our god shall return. And when that- If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of the Scarlet King. <laughs> I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. Not just yet. This man is a fraud. Huh? <clears throat> you again? <laughs> Deranged academia lunatic- Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures to make things uncomfortable. Listen to me. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Hey! Shut it, all Haytham! What are you playing? I told you the other day. I wish to dis- Ha! The boss m Yes, and in no uncertain terms. I'm warning you. If you're suggesting that we ask- If, on the other hand, I will jeopardize the Eremites- I'm quite confident that if- Also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened here today. What? Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word? This guy is really out of his mind. Okay, then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, four o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. Don't expect us to hold back. Not so fast. First, you return the 500,000 mora to them. Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. Ah, Mr. Iman. There appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. I, uh... Someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Whoa, did you see that? He got us our Mora back, but sent the M plus. He seems to know a lot about what's going on. He went that way! After him! How can you think so then? What happened next? Wait up! It's I'll hate them, right? What do you want? No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you too. Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. So, all right. Goodbye. Hold your horses! We still have something to ask. <sighs> Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about. Who exactly are you two? And a student. <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. Huh? Oh, yeah! He 
he's really strong. He doesn't even have a vision. Maybe not, but he can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, those high-headed thugs are deaf. Hmm. Uh... <sighs> we'll reconvene at the appointed. Um. So, since you were happy to give us this merchant's information, does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after? You were willing to part with 500,000 Mora for something and you didn't even know what it was? <laughs> okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. Look, if you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste time repeating and. To the academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too. You know almost everything there is to know, but you're unable to compile this information because you've never seen the object before. This is what you've been looking for. Huh? Paimon can't tell what it is. It looks like some kind of ornament. This is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. It's like a miniature Akasha. Anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Correct. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information, knowledge capsules can further contents without any requisites. That's amazing! It's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha. But despite strict regulation, over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the Academia. Meanwhile, those Well, I think that about sums it up. Oh, so that's your true objective. With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. <sighs> You're still resolved. Fine. Let's talk somewhere with fewer people. Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with something. I need you to find someone named Dory, a traveling merchant. Unlike the peddlers who hawk inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. Some She's guarded against people from the Academia because most of her wares don't comply with Academia regulation. I think she blacklisted me. I met with her informant, but it soon became clear that they had no intention of letting me get any further. Become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This is my condition for further collaboration. Why do you want us to meet with him? Until you complete this task, you don't have question privileges. <sighs> Fine. You two are outlanders who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. Beyond the password, though, I have no way of knowing what other tricks she might have up... The true challenge begins after you meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares, and she only likes customers who she deems to have good taste. I'll prepare some funds for you. What? We only just saw a knowledge capsule for the first time! Hmm, that's true. Have you two heard of Elemental Sight? Oh, well, that's a surprise. I guess I'll have to hold you in higher regard. Anyway, that ability should resolve your issue. Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? Um, they... Try inspecting them with elemental sight. How'd it go? Did you see anything? Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. That's because knowledge originates from Ermensoul, the root of Dendro Power itself. 
The more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in dendro energy. However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times, so those capsules are of little value. Using elemental sight is merely a stopgap measure, but it's... That sounds pretty impressive! Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password, and here is the more... Don't be cheap. You'll need... Oh, and be sure to exercise some caution. Matra? Hmm. They belong... The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. If you two want to back out, now's the time. Okay, then we have a deal. Looking at what Al Haytham wrote, Dory's informant is a trick. Huh. Let's follow these instructions and try to get in contact. Hello, what are you two looking to buy? What a unique palette. Following the paper got us past the- Ronok. Me got it. You two, please follow me. You two have a fascinating fashion sense. We haven't seen a customer wearing a Sumeru rose for quite some time. Uh, hold on. Let me think. Sumeru rose means common merch. Um, no. Look again! We're obviously wearing morning flowers. Ah, my mistake. I do apologize. Whew. That pop quiz sure was scary. Ah, the warehouse is up ahead. Please follow me. is pretty great. There's so many new and interesting things. Sumeru's largest commercial port sure lives up to its name. Look at all the merchants. And then... Uh, how do... All thanks to your artistic license. That's how. But when I finished the prototype art... Well, I never thought they'd dislike it so much. Oh, uh, what should we do? Whoa. Yeah. Compared to everyone else, they seem really down in the dumps. Let's go find out what's going on. Oh, hey there. Paimon's name is Paimon, and... Oh, I noticed you two a moment ago. Welcome to Akara Crafts. Uh, what's bothering us is this... Pro Prototype Aranara? Uh, you mean the... Uh, oh, there we have it. The verdict is in. Ugh, what a headache. Not the first negative feedback we've had. So, what exactly is a- So for context, 
Aranara are magical creatures in Sumeru fairy tales that live in the forest. For the store's 20th anniversary, we plan to release a series of hand-carved toys based on the Aranara stories that kids know and love. This is a prototype we made to get when we put it out there. They thought it looked... No, worse than that, actually. This is not an r and r I've read Uncle Tonjas. Mm, Uncle Tonjas, this carving makes me feel lost and confused inside. Ooh, get him put his heart into it. Kasid and Alia didn't like this carving, but I think it's okay. It doesn't look too happy. Oh, uh, yeah. So I would... Oh, well, that took a sudden turn for the word. We asked the children for their opinions. Oh, how did it go? Uh, has it maybe, uh... Grow. Oh, this is such a shame. Oh, the kids kept mentioning an Uncle Tonger. T Uncle Tonger is a famous children's author here. He wrote quite a few stories, but around a year or so ago, he suddenly. That's right. My little Gafari loves his stories too. We asked Tonger for God. We were running out of time, so we had no choice but to carve an Aranara based on our own imag. As you can see, this was a result. Oh, we have to do something. Hey, since you're the famous traveler, could you do us a favor and look for Tonger and Gun? Uh, he doesn't have to come in person if he's. Uh, please, if. Oh, they seem pretty desperate. Hmm. Let's help them out. To see the kids smile. Yep. Let. <laughs> Tonger takes us. Maybe that's why he was able to. Anyway. Before I retrieve your products, I need to confirm a few things. Uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by mice. Uh, hold on. That's not right. Taken by mice means they sold out. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. But as he's cautious of us, let's take a quick. Before I retrieve your pro, uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? said that heat struck uh, he's cautious of us let's take a close Before I ret uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by mice. <laughs> you look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you? Yep, that's the right answer. But eating Hara fruit. Would you like your Hara fruits to be packaged in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo style? Wow, you two sure are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. Okay. Everything has been confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at... Shoot! It's the Matra! Run! What? The Matra? Where? Oh, hey, them said we're done for if they catch us! We gotta get out of here! We don't know this area, so let's follow that informant! Dory! Oh, Huh! <laughs> 
if you're hiding from the Rishbalan tiger, come this way. Another password. Huh? Oh, that voice came. Here, over here. You can stop running now. So you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But, uh, are we definitely going to be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, I'll just excuse myself. Oh, very good. Huh? Wait, you're Dory? Paimon sure thought you'd look a whole lot scarier. Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? I can be scary enough when I need to be, believe you me. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings, haven't you? Uh, Paimon's not sure if that's supposed to be a compliment. I can't risk doing business with people who start huffing and puffing after just a few paces. No matter how much Mora they might have. Not only will they get caught by the Matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. So that's why I prefer to have customers like you. It's your first time here, but don't worry. I won't ask too many questions. As long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, then we're all good. Ah, oh, yes! Of course, of course! Wow, she has a trove of canned knowledge. Whew. She what kind of products do you see? Take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology. Hey, who would want to be an expert in that topic? Or how about the architectural styles and construction methods of Tibet in the early arch- With this one, you can become an expert in historic architecture preservation. Ooh, now this sounds like a- Two million mora, and it's yours. No discounts. Whoa! That's a lot of Mora! Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts decide. All right, let's try the method that I'll hate them mentioned. You've really got a good head on your shoulders, and quite the eye for quality. We'll take these, please and thank you. My oh my, you are blessed with a taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed. Listen, I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value of one million, Mora. Say what now? Hey, did you hear that? Spend another 100k and we get a capsule worth a whole million! But all the canned knowledge we just... Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this can... Aren't you even the least bit curious about how this whole canned knowledge thing works? We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? Come on, come on. We still have around a hundred thousand of Alhatham's Mora left. So let's put it to good use by finding something useful for the excellent. And then please select. Uh, hold on a second. We could choose whatever we wanted. Why can't we choose the ones from over there? Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million more each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to find something to your liking. Please, take your time. Uh oh Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. So, what did you see? So, they're all worth about the same amount? Well, and...
anyway, the Mora's already been spent, so let's at least try to find something useful. Let Paimon take a look here. Not sure we'd ever find volumes one through seven, but at least this knowledge should be useful, right? Let's go with this one. Dory, we'll take this one. All right, very good. I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure... Our dealings with Dory went smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakala Funduk and meet up with Alhatham. Deuce to just standing around. <laughs> oh, uh, please. Hopefully now he'll finally tell us about what the academia lost. If you require any assistance, please let me know. Two made it. Wow, there's so many people from the academia here. Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? Well, Wakela Funduk is under the academia's control, so naturally the academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Macher won't come here. Okay, we did what you asked. So, can you tell us about the knowledge- Before that, I have to ask. Why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer, of course. Yeah, he just wants to meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. In that case, you're on the right track. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Wow, there's really such a thing as that? Hey, if we find it, do you think we could learn how to meet the dent- I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. So, where exactly? That's what we need to find out next. I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. As you know, the Aramites several brigades. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains the Scarlet King's power, and that he will return to this world when they obtain it. So you kept hounding them because they refused to co- Yes. Ainul Ahmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule, so... I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. To ensure the capsule's security and to evade the Matra's notice, the winning brigade will not publicly dis- Unless I know whose hands the Divine Knowledge Capsule ends up in, my agreements with them will fall through. Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that- In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory- Yes, you can say that. The day after tomorrow- If I get the opportunity to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? Okay, then we'll meet up in two days. Um, Alhatham, before you go, we had 
actually bought a knowledge capsule for ourselves, but... <laughs> you two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Doing so right under the Academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. What do you say we head to the outskirts of town? Stabilize! This place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Here. Hmm. Sword fighting techniques eight. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days, since most have been taken by the Eremites to augment their battle capabilities. Really? Ah, oh, yeah, what a great buy! If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles. One before using this knowledge capsule, and one after. While you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor there may be variances in your physical strength. Wow! I hate them! You must have been one of those guys at the Academia who got- Um, Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the academe. When you are unable to understand a researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. Mm, sounds like you're trying to avoid the quest. All right, let's begin the test. your Akasha. The next step is to use... Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with... All right, time for round two. Well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve his combat capability. During the second fight, his overall fighting performance increased by points. Wait, how much? Ah, Dory's such a jerk! She totally scammed us! One million mora? This thing isn't worth a tenth of that amount! 
Of course, this could be because he is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. I'm heading back to Akela Funduk. I await your response and... Welcome back, my loyal patrons. Look, you name it. Can knowledge, supplies, or anything else you need. Can you really get us anything we want? Uh-huh. So it appears that can knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite. <sighs> then please oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. Oh! <laughs> I knew customers with pockets as deep as yours, but you know, that kind of information isn't going to be... After all, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. But how can we be sure your information is accurate? Paimon's curious how you just happen to have this kind of info the moment we need. <laughs> <laughs> because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. As for the information's authenticity, well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's the scoop. The Divine Knowledge Capsule was purchased yesterday by a certain... Ein El Achmar? Ah, so you're already from... The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. And that Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other can knowledge I've seen. And the capsule is clearly visible in the picture I took. Thanks for the info. Please, it's my pl... Well, we figured out where the Divine oh, Knowledge fine. Capsule is. Perfect. Turns out, it ended up in the hands of Ein El Achmar. Let's head back and talk to Al Haytham. Really? All right. Let's hear it. Dory even gave us evidence to verify the info. Huh, look at that. Clear as day. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramite's transaction. All right. In which case... At first, Paimon didn't get why you were provo... After we defeat them, we can finally have a serious talk... Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again. I'll see you then. Oh, hey, I'm sure he's taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. 
I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Let's... Yep. Sumeru would be different, but nope, everywhere's the same. I didn't 